so the speakers are in. You want to see the old ones? This is what was in the Brovada. Rear speaker, rear speaker, front speaker, front speaker. Now listen to this. craziest thing about it is the two front speakers were pretty much completely blown. The passenger side one didn't work at all. Driver side one, all it did was really crackle. The two speakers that were making sound were the two back speakers. No freaking way. How the hell did this thing make sound? Well, for one, it wasn't ripped up this bad. I did this, basically. But it did have a big hole in it, just like this one. And these two were the good sounding speakers. We got the Q powers in. It was pretty easy. A little bit of custom work had to be done to make them fit, but not a big deal. Nothing that the average person couldn't have taken care of themselves. It was very simple, pretty easy. On the inside of the door panels, there is a plastic piece. It's like a plastic housing that bolts to the door that steps the speaker out far enough so that way the window doesn't hit it when the window's rolling up and down on the track on the inside of the door. So what, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unscrew the speaker from that housing and then unbolt the housing just on the front. And then you're going to want to, you can't unbolt the housing, it's actually riveted on, so you're going to have to drill the rivets out and then get some self-tapper screws. Mount your speaker in the housing, connect your wires, and then mount the housing to the door with the self-tappers. In the back, you don't need to take the housing off of the door. It can stay on. You just unscrew the speaker from the housing, clip the wires, pull it out, and then there's a plastic ring around the outside of the speaker on the front of it. You want to peel that speak that ring off. You want to peel that ring off. It's going to be a ring that goes around the outside edge of the speaker. It's glued to it. You're going to want to pry it off. And then you want to flip it upside down and screw it back to the housing. That's going to act as a spacer to space the speaker out far enough away from the door so the magnet doesn't hit the door. Otherwise, on the back speakers, the magnet will hit the door. So remember, you need the ring off of the back speakers. You just pry it off, flip it over so it's upside down, and then screw it right back to the uh, housing with the stock screws then you're going to want to take your speaker stick it up against the the uh the the spacer and then drill your holes and then use the the screws that were came with the kit to screw it into the plastic housing so hopefully that's uh good enough for you guys to understand what i'm talking about i don't have everything apart anymore i should have left something apart but if you look in there you can see the blue speaker sounds now I know I know I failed to get a before video so you guys had no clue how bad the stereo sounded which really sucks it totally slipped my mind to get it I thought I got it but apparently I didn't but anyways this is the after loud extremely clean sounding speakers for $33 I'm totally impressed 100% I love them I can totally see why a lot of Q power stuff always gets good reviews so here's a good review on the Q power QP-650 six and a half inch digital ready 
coaxial car truck SUV 500 watts max power if you guys want to see the specs awesome speakers $33 with free shipping off of eBay go grab you some take it easy guys